See you. I'm Larry Miller. There's also an active investigation happening in Prince George's County this afternoon. Earlier this morning, we showed you dramatic video of a fire that sent three firefighters to the hospital. On the left, you can see the intensity of the flames and what firefighters were up against. And on the right is what things look like right now. The Landover Hills apartment building suffered a partial building collapse. Marcella Robertson was on the ground. The fire here at the Verona Apartments broke out just after 3 o'clock this morning. Three firefighters are in the hospital for burn injuries, but they are expected to be OK. And thankfully, all of the residents were able to make it out as well. Initially, there were some concerns about a family of four missing, but everyone has since been accounted for. Flames broke out at this apartment complex early Tuesday morning. The fire woke 16 year old Brandon Vergara and his family. They made it out with only the clothes they had on. I, I live in a second floor over there where the walls collapsed. But it's a relief, you know, knowing that they're safe. And uh, I actually don't worry about the materials over there. As long as my family are safe, then that's what it, that's important. The back part of the building collapsed a short time after the fire started. That's what Lamont Petaway saw when he woke up. He took this video of the fire moments after it started. It was a boom. It, it was, they was like, it's not 4th of July. My wife said, it's not 4th of July. So we was like, what's going on? Then my, my kids ran to the balcony. You see it, Dad? It's burning. That's it. Thankfully, everyone who lives there made it out OK. Only one man was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The three injured firefighters are also expected to be OK. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Landover Hills, Marcella Robertson, WUSA 9. Our team is still looking into the cause of that fire. We are sending out updates on our mobile app and our website, WSA9.com.